first tip here is going to be on the select color range tool and here I've got an image of just some hills and a sky and a lot of people use the select color range tool and before you do this make sure that your your image is on a layer not set as background or locked because you're going to be using the transparency of that layer in a second um, people do the select color range and then they would select the blue here like so and then usually in an effort to gather the rest of the blue in this region here they would turn up the fuzziness now this seems like a good idea because it starts to create a larger area for your mask but um, you would turn it up until all the blue is selected and hit OK problem is if you start deleting that blue then or even turning it into a mask the more times you do it you can see what you're actually doing you're deleting all all reference to that blue everywhere in the file which is not what you want to do you want to just grab the blue in that sky so to do that we are going to go back to that tool select color range and the tip here is that you keep your fuzziness down around 11 or 10 and you make your initial selection and you'll see that it's only selecting little fragments of the blue but if you hit the add to sample tool as opposed to the gather sample or eyedropper tool you'll see that as you click down and drag around it's gonna expand your selection to all the different variants of blue in the sky there just make sure you don't slide off into the the gray area here while you're clicking and dragging or you'll add gray to your selection so you just click down and drag around in this blue and try to gather all the different hues and saturations of blue there are and wherever you see little dots here that means you haven't gathered that color yet so right around here and up here and there we go and once you get a nice selection here you can just hit OK and now you'll see when you hit delete I mean mine's not perfect but it's not deleting that reference to that blue color in the image because it doesn't match exactly and you can use this quick tip to help yourself create quick masks or quickly remove um, quickly remove a color from an image such as a person from a background or any sort of green screening effect if you don't feel like going and tracing the whole thing with a pen tool and it can also be said that while you're on the layer here if you have your selection you can just hit the layer mask tool and that'll automatically mask it it'll just mask it to the reverse so then once you have your mask you click on the mask and hit control I or invert selection and it'll invert your mask or invert image rather not selection and it'll invert your mask to be white and black as opposed to black and white here and then that way you have a cleaner mask but the image um, data isn't actually deleted so if you disable your mask it comes back um, so there you go that's the quick tip of the day for the select color range tool hope it was helpful